Hello, 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 Leos. It's your girl, Indom. I'm here to do the monthly reading for you guys. Um, today is May 5th, the day that I am recording and the day that I am posting your reading. Today is a new moon. This moon comes in in Taurus, offering us grounding, pleasure, indulgence, regeneration, and values. So let's uh, start your reading and see what comes out for the month of May. Please make sure, guys, that in case you have not received uh, an email from me or if you're not in my list uh, for mailings, please make sure that you go to my website, www.indomquest.com. On there, you can subscribe so that you can receive your personalized discount code and that way we are able to um, enjoy 25% off on everything on my store that includes products, tarot readings, purifications, any custom work that needs to be done. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, what else? I believe that's all I have for you. So let's jump right to it, shall we? All right. Um, everything, all the tarots, uh, all the deck of cards have been pre-shuffled I just I want to do it one more time for the heck of it right um, my crystals have been charged um, and then with other crystals I was able to charge both decks all right so I am ready to go we have the ace of swords we have the Ten of Cups in reverse. We have the Two of Cups in reverse. And your foundation for the month of May, Leo, is the Page of Cups. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, Leo. So here we have the Page of Cups as your focus, as your main point for the month of May. And I want to invite you guys to be open to receive there is a message coming to you from someone that maybe you have not heard from in a while it's someone that either has feelings that they have not shared with you they have something bottled up within them that they have not shared with you and they may attempt to open up to you I do want to tell you they are not going to just come in and share this information with you. You may get a random, hey, how you doing type of text or call or invitation. Oh, can you, do you want to have dinner? What are you doing? They may come in that way, okay? But there is a message that someone is trying to give you. It's on its way to you, and it shall be revealed in the, in the month of May, okay, Leos? So here we have the Ace of Swords. This is you, Leos. I'm trying to understand why do you feel that everything is a battle. Has this worked for you thus far? If we look back from January, February, March, April, and now on to May, has, been, has this really worked out for you? And you're still headstrong, Leo. You, this is literally who you want to be. You may have some um, Aquarius vibes with you. Uh, you may be in conflict with an Aquarius person. But Leo, this is who you are. In case nobody has told you about how confrontational you have been, you have been. The end. I'm not going to argue with you, Leo, but this is you. So now this is a time in the month of May for you to analyze yourself, Leo. Has this really worked out for you? Being so defensive, being so confrontational, being so into your thoughts, and therefore, you know, it's almost as if you sit down in thoughts and you're like, hmm, let me think about Indom. Well, the last time that I had an interaction with Indom, this is what happened. And the last feeling I have when I think about Indom is this and that. And then you just start creating this story. But the thing is, Leo, that nowhere in this train of thought or this story building that you're creating does end up have a chance to to say their point, their point of view, their 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 visions, their their clarifications? What was their point of view on what happened? You know, I'm using myself as an example, but I think you get the point, right, Leo? 
So, you know, you're powerful. You make your decisions. If this is who you want to remain to be, that's okay. That's okay. But I do invite you, Leo, to analyze yourself. And look, for some of you, Leos, this may be a great thing. You can definitely go through this journey and say, you know what? For sure, I'm sticking to my guns. This is a thing. I feel much better now that I have been practicing to be more reserved or stepping away back or be more careful when I'm moving forward. Maybe that's where you have to be at this time. And that's okay. The point is here, I want to encourage you to revisit, to just analyze yourself as the Ace of Swords. You understand? Thank you. All right. Here we have the Ten of Cups in reverse. And I do think it has to do with where you are, how you have handled this person that may attempt to come back to you, Leo. Um, and, well, I want to use that word loosely. Maybe not come back to you, but they are going to attempt to make communication with you. Something went south in this situation. And, you know, for some of you, Leos, um, although I do sense strong relationship type of vibes, I feel like there is a miscommunication between a parent and a son. Specifically a son. It could be a female. This is a general reading, so it could be a, a daughter. Okay, but I get a stronger sense of a son. And because this is a male for me. You know, my, general, my, my readings are general, but I do get a strong sense of a male. Um, a male is the one that's trying to come to you. Uh, Leo, so you know, um, it can be a son, it can be a partner, a male partner. Okay, there was a serious miscommunication, there was a rough ending. But here's the thing for my Leos that are dealing with children with their son, Leos. I almost want to say that you may not even know that this son existed. You may not have seen this son in such a long time. You, I, I, um, you know, one of the reasons why this Leo is the way that she is, it's because you might have given this son for adoption once upon a time. And you've built this, this persona to deal with it, but I think your son is looking for you. Very important for me to say that. With this Ten of Cups, in this Page of Cups, there is a message regarding a past relationship. And for you, my Leo, that have given up a son for adoption, this son is looking for you. So again, I need you to just sit back, analyze yourself. Because there's some there's a message coming for you, Leo. And here's the thing. So with this two of cups here, Leos, my relationship, Leos, whether you were in a relationship, it's ended. Um, and whether it was you or the other person, but the relationship has ended. There has been time in between this ending. Any Leos that just within, I'm going to say within the past three weeks, if you've ended a relationship, this does not apply. Okay? I'm talking about time has gone by without speaking. That's this person that's trying to come back. There was an ending in this relationship. But here's the thing, this Two of Cups is still in reverse. So, literally the answer and the power lies in you, Leo. Are you going to open those doors for this Two of Cups to turn right side up? You understand me? There is almost as if you, you or this other person wants this to work. But is it going to? Okay, and I, I do want to tell you, Leo, that this is not going to be, if you open the doors for this, let's say we're able to flip this two of cups right side up, right, and this works out. Here's the problem, Leo, you're not going to be able, you're going to have a hard time letting go of the past. See, look at this, same people, right? Once upon a time, everything was golden, everything was beautiful. 
right? But once that ended, if you open that door again, you're going to feel bondage. You're going to feel tied. You're going to, it's not going to be a good feeling, but Leo's that's when we can work together and try to figure out whether this is this bondage or this feeling it's you and we have to work on you moving forward or is it that this is just not going to work okay now for my parenting my my leos that are dealing with their son this son is not going to straight up ask for forgiveness telling that right now they're not going to ask for forgiveness at least right away they're just going to try to reach out to you um ooh, excuse me so this child is upset this child is very upset um especially the adoption uh when you gave the ones that gave up their child for adoption it could be that you might have kicked out this kid all right from home it is what it is um, that could be a scenario where you legit just kicked out your, your son from the house. They're upset, but the anger really lies in the adoption. So, um, for my relationship, Leos, this person is upset. I think it was you that cut the cord because you are the ace of swords. I think it was you that ended this. And this person is upset. So, I'm wondering... I just want you to be careful. And again, if this resonates with you, definitely book a reading with me so that I can look at your scenario specifically. Remember, this is, these are all general readings. Um, understand that this person, there is a chance that if you open up this Two of Cups and you open the door to possibly reconsider and maybe go back to this person, their anger... They could be fooling you. Their anger really, they, they're really angry and they're just trying to reel you in to get you. Remember that bondage, that stuck type of vibes that I got? Be careful with that too, if that applies. And I'll give you that. So, here goes the night. So, you see, with this Ace of Swords and now having your clarifier as the knight, you're trying to go somewhere. I feel like you were the one that really left. Night means messages. Night means going places. It means taking the first steps. It's, And then you have the Ace of Swords. So it's like you were the one that initiated. Maybe you weren't the one that actually said, hey, I'm out of the relationship. I no longer want to be with you. But maybe you were the one that pushed the envelope like, oh, so you don't like purple? Let me give you purple, 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 purple until you just leave and you no longer can deal with this. So I really think for you guys, even with the relationships, it was you, Leo, that walked out. It was you that made sure that this relationship ended. It was you. Same thing with the parental uh, scenario that I'm getting with this reading. It was you that walked away. Okay? Let's see here for this Ten of Cups. What do we have? We have wedding. Oh, my God. Did you walk out of... Did you really do that, Leo? For my relationship, Leos, did you really leave somebody at the altar? You would, wouldn't you? You would, wouldn't you? So, this is what you once had. Um, did you know... Did you know this uh, this wedding? This what? Leo's Jesus. Point is that this person may try to come back and offer you their vows. Now they may feel like, you know what, I want to give this a shot. This can end up, guys, if you open the door with this two of cups, it can end up to being on a marriage. This can actually work this time around. I just really feel like you have to be careful with their anger and or yours. Remember, this is a general reading. Reconsider. Remember what I told you about this Ace of Swords? Just reconsider yourself. Take this month to really think about things. Is this really who you want to be moving forward? Is this who you have been? And just start start there. Things will unfold once you go down that path. You understand me? Now, if this Ten of Cups would have been right side up, it is a no-brainer that this wedding is going to take place. But because this Ten of Cups is right, is, um, right side up, wait, it's in reverse, 
um, this wedding, there's something off about it. it. I have a big question mark on this. All right. With this two of cups in reverse, what do we have? Passion. Maybe that's what this volcano is coming from. Um, maybe it's not anger. Maybe this person is just going to come in and literally offer you their all. They're in it to win it. Um, I still need you. This is where it, it ends because you're the decision making and you're the one that has to sit down and really analyze your situation. Again, everybody's situation is going to be different. So by all means, if you want to look more into this scenario, book a reading with me so I can look into your scenario specifically. But in general, something is in question here you know this person could be sitting down and reconsidering like you know what maybe i could have done better maybe i should have done different and i'm gonna go in and go get my man i'm gonna go in and go get my woman and they're giving it their all it's just there's no isn't about about this now for my parentals I want you to understand that if this person comes back, wedding is, is just a union, okay? So yes, wedding in a relationship is actually a wedding, but wedding when it comes to any parental type of relationship or work or anything that's not, you know, a personal relationship, it just means union. This child is looking for his parent, okay and look I'm not here to judge anybody okay everybody's scenario is different um, it's really up to you again the decision is up to you Leo are you interested in even opening this kind of worms are you even interested in this child finding you are you even ready for it but it all ends and starts with you Leo all right. Thank you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoy the month of May. Definitely enjoy this new moon. And please look forward for the full moon uh, coming in on the 19th as I'll be posting um, materials for that. Okay. In the meantime, again, don't forget to book your reading www.indomquest.com. See ya.